Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with the FSW, Occupied Bandwidth Measurements. This presentation provides a brief overview on how to make measurements of occupied bandwidth on Rodian Schwartz FSW series signal and spectrum analyzers. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of occupied bandwidth measurements. If you're unfamiliar with occupied bandwidth, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding Occupied Bandwidth before beginning this presentation. Occupied Bandwidth is one of the standard spectrum measurements on the FSW and is supported on all FSW series analyzers. The measurement itself is very easy to configure. The user merely has to configure the center frequency of the signal and specify the percent power bandwidth and channel bandwidth. Based on these parameters, the FSW can automatically adjust measurement parameters, such as span, resolution bandwidth, etc. The measurement also supports search limits for performing occupied bandwidth measurements when multiple signals are present. And finally, the results are displayed in both graphical and numerical format. In the remainder of this presentation, we'll go step by step through the occupied bandwidth measurement process. To make an occupied bandwidth measurement, press the Measure Hard key and then select OBW from the list of available power measurements. As mentioned a moment ago, occupied bandwidth is a standard spectrum measurement and does not require any additional hardware, software, or license code. This is the occupied bandwidth main measurement screen. Configuration parameters are accessed using the soft buttons on the right. A graphical view of the signal and markers is displayed at the top of the screen, and numerical results are provided along the bottom of the screen. Let's start by looking at the configuration parameters. Measurement configuration parameters can be accessed using either the Occupied Bandwidth Configuration dialog or via the individual percent power bandwidth and channel bandwidth buttons. As you should already know, Occupied bandwidth is the bandwidth that contains a defined percentage of the total signal power. And in most cases, measurements are made using the default value of 99%. Channel bandwidth should be set to the nominal channel bandwidth, which is normally greater than the measured occupied bandwidth. The reason for entering the nominal channel bandwidth is that this entered bandwidth can be used by the Adjust Settings function to automatically optimize measurement parameters. There are several measurement parameters that are automatically adjusted by the Adjust Settings function. In this example, the user entered channel bandwidth is 10 MHz. Span is changed to 3 times channel bandwidth, that is 3 times 10 or 30 MHz. Resolution bandwidth is set to 1 40th of the channel bandwidth or to the next smallest step. Here, 10 MHz divided by 40, or 250 kHz. Video bandwidth is adjusted to at least three times resolution bandwidth. Here, 750 kHz. And since we're measuring power, adjust settings will also change the detector type to RMS. An additional useful feature is search limits, which can be used to define the frequency range over which the occupied bandwidth measurement is made. This is useful when the configured span contains multiple carriers, only one of whose occupied bandwidth is to be measured. In this example, we've enabled both left and right search limits, so the FSW will only measure the occupied bandwidth of the signal in the middle of the defined span. Now let's look at an example of an occupied bandwidth measurement. In the graphical view, markers T1 and T2 are used to show the lower and upper limits of the occupied bandwidth. At the bottom of the screen are the numeric results for these markers. The occupied bandwidth is also given numerically. Here, the measured value is just over 9 MHz. In addition, the results include the centroid frequency, that is, the center frequency of the occupied bandwidth, as well as the frequency offset of the centroid from the nominal center frequency. Let's end with a brief summary. 
Occupied bandwidth is one of the standard spectrum measurements on Rodian Schwartz FSW series signal and spectrum analyzers. Configuring an occupied bandwidth measurement is very straightforward. Simply set the center frequency of the signal and an appropriate span, and then configure the percent power bandwidth. If the nominal channel bandwidth is entered, the Adjust Settings button will automatically configure measurement parameters such as span and resolution bandwidth based on this user-defined value. If multiple signals are present within a user-defined span, the Search Limits function can be used to choose which signal should be measured. And finally, occupied bandwidth measurement results are displayed in both graphical and numerical formats. This concludes our presentation, Getting Started with the FSW Occupied Bandwidth Measurements. If you'd like to learn more about other spectrum measurements or about spectrum analyzers from Rodian and Schwartz, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.